So as you know, one of the largest YouTuber in the world right now is Mr. Beast, and he has an interesting product called Fista Boss. If you haven't heard of it, well, you're welcome to hear about it. Okay, and it's been doing well. I think it's been doing so well promoting it and all of that. In my side of the world, we don't have access to these products, so all we can just do is to create designs for it. All right. So just in case you want to do me a favor, you can just buy one and ship it to me so that I can at least have a taste of it so that I can maybe you know share my thoughts on it okay anyway that's just by the way so uh, what we are simply going to do is to create a fista balls design in canva and i tried it i liked it and i just thought why not just teach you how to create the same thing and look you don't have to use fista balls if you don't like fista balls okay you can use any chocolate brand of your choice so let me show you how everything was created and the first thing i would want to show you is how you can get the element so that you can you know find it easy when creating this tutorial with me i hope you're ready let's dive straight into this tutorial so the first thing is coming to my browser that's the website over here the first thing you need is the logo so you can just right click and come to save image as and save the logo i did it already okay if you can hear a chicken outside don't worry if you don't hear it too then that's fine after you do that the next thing we want to do is just scroll down okay and come to shop all okay so once you come to shop all you can just right click and choose copy image because i think the image format is wep so you can just copy the image okay then head on to canva and use ctrl v to paste the image okay now that we have that the next thing we are going to do is to start designing the design so i hope you're ready let's get started so to get started we want to start working on the background first okay so keep this down here select the background click on the background come to colors okay and over here add a new color all right what we are simply going to do is to click on this color picker all right so we click on it select this okay and we can see it's too i think it's too saturated for me so i'm just going to make it brighter you know just to add some light to it which means that dragging it close to the white section okay then come to gradient over here in gradient what we're simply going to do is the second color we are going to make it white all right and this is not the type of gradient we want we want the circular gradient which is this one okay so select it and we can see in as much as this is the type of gradient we want the color is not moving the way we want so we are going to select this and move it over here okay so this is what we have at the moment it's looking very great so i will reduce the size of this for now and keep it somewhere here anyway come to your element okay and in element what you're going to do is to search for sun bursts okay not but <laughs> sun best this is what we want all right and there are so many options but i'll just choose the first option increase the size okay come to color and keep it white okay then what we want to also do is to reduce the transparency so you can come here and reduce it a little bit okay so i think this is fine all right now we want to have the select so right click come to layer come to show layers okay and we will just drag this to the top okay so now that we have it over here you can increase the size okay increase the size and we you can see these are two images that are attached this is the original image but we want to be able to separate the two okay so come here into edit and make sure you are finding magic grab at the top over here okay so magic grab click on it and there are two options we have the brush and we have the click so canva should analyze the image and once canva analyzes the image there would be you see something move over the images okay i don't know what to call it actually so i'm going to choose click and click on the aspect you want so this is what i want and grab okay i want to grab it out of the image and i think this is one of the coolest features introduced by canva okay and while we wait canva to load and do all of the things i want to invite you to my community it's 
Canva base. Okay, so if you're looking for a vibrant Canva community with monthly workshops, with you know group design competitions, with collaborations and all of that, look, the link can be found in the description box below. And you can also upgrade to Canva Pro for free if you're on the free version, okay, for 30 days. I think there's something cool you can grab. So make sure you're checking the link in the description box below. Canva is done. So once it's done now, we can just move this here and let's you know reduce the size of this a little bit and drop it here okay so there's the image rotate it okay to something like this and you can increase the size if you want so that's how i want mine what we can now do is to come here into element okay and just search for chocolate okay so search for chocolate and just scroll down you should find this particular one this is what we want okay so increase the size and you can also rotate it to any style you want okay so rotate it uh, we would have it like this okay so now that we have it like this the next thing we can do okay or we can wait you can even rotate it like this rather I think like this is the best okay now send it to the back so you can right click come to layer come to show layers and we can see things over here so just drag it behind the chocolate like that okay then duplicate it using ctrl d and place it on top okay yeah as if nothing has changed then just crop it like this okay so copy like this and copy this one too like this okay so that's the first thing you can do and just leave it like that so i want us to do something i didn't do before duplicate this again okay and what we are going to do is to come to grab okay magic grab so choose magic grab and we want to choose some of these fragments okay so i want this fragment over here so canva will load and you can see it's been selected so i'll come to grab and that's all i want so i can delete it or i can even choose you know if possible i think you can even go for more if you want okay so let's choose at least uh, a second one which is a smaller one like this okay so we've selected it can well actually load first of all because analyzing the image then we can grab okay all right so we can i think delete this for now so now that we have this fragment i don't know where the second one is oh my god okay i, I don't know where it's going to but we'll just stick to this so we can have this here you know have this here you can rotate it okay and make it smaller okay you know just to spread things around do you get it uh -huh. so something like that then the second thing we can do is to grab this image as well okay come to edit and we are going to use the magic grab for it as well and canva should analyze the image you see something like an effect just you know slide uh -huh, which means canva is done so we can now select this and grab it as well it should load beautifully and while it's loose i just want to say that please subscribe to this channel if you haven't okay because this channel is all about canva and you being here means that you like what i create and it would also motivate me to keep creating just for you okay thank you so much for subscribing okay so we have this over here we can see i've been able to drag it to the side and we are going to delete it all right so today especially now we are going to do something i believe we haven't done before and i believe come to adjust okay and what we want to do is increase the size of it first so you can see whatever we are doing properly okay increase the size then the highlight reduce the highlights so that it reduces this extra white over here and reduce it more from the white and you can see it's gone at least it's looking better okay and you can increase the brightness of the entire chocolate and uh, the saturation can be improved okay and what you can also do is the contrast you can increase it more all right so we have something like this so we are going to create what we call an explosion effect okay and when it comes to explosion effect the focal explosion point would be you know depending on where you're standing 
if you are afar, where the explosion or the main point of the explosion is smaller, and while it comes closer to you, it's bigger. The fragments become bigger. Okay, and I don't know what I have to be, and I don't know what I have to be doing all of all, all, all of this. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so we are just going to do the same. So I'll keep this here like this. Okay. And when you are creating them, just make sure that the alignment or the rotation is matching with the sun best. This will make it easier for you. Okay, so we'll keep it here like this, you know, and make this smaller. And when you duplicate it, okay, you duplicate it and you can just change it like that and maybe increase it a little bit bigger. Okay, and as you are bringing it closer, you are increasing it more. Okay. Then maybe we can increase this here like this, increase it more. All right. Then you can just do what I'm doing. All right. So you can see very, very interesting. So basically that's what we are going to do. Then I would maybe do this for the last time over here. Oh, I think it should be bigger. Now I'll just bring it down here like that. Okay. So... What we can also do is maybe I can bring any of this here. Okay. Rotate it like that. Then I believe what we can do next is duplicating all of this. Okay. So I can duplicate them all. No, select them all first, not duplicate them. So select all of them first. Okay. Then duplicate it. Okay. So you duplicate it and you rotate it. And you can just maybe move this here as well okay and select all of the other ones in addition okay and duplicate it okay then you rotate it very nicely like this and you can have it here okay it looks too much the same so we can just re um, arrange some of the elements okay to something interesting so that it looks like okay it's there's when there's an explosion nothing moves perfectly you know everything is just scattered so you want to just create something like that okay so that's what we are just doing and i think yes we are doing we're actually doing a great job all right yeah so this is what we have at the moment and i think as here it looks too together you understand like just scatter things up okay scatter scatter them scatter them so that's what we have at the moment as also you know and some can be very big you know yeah so this is what we actually have at the moment now put this here and yes so this is what we have at the moment at least the explosion effect is working it's actually working very well over here now what we simply want to do is to add some extra element but before we do that i want us to add the logo okay the mr beast logo okay and i'm sure you downloaded it already so i would come into my uploads choose it move it here and reduce the size like this okay so something like this is fine then make sure you are coming here okay on the main design press tune the keyboard for your text and add a new text so you can say new okay new formula or you can just say whatever you want so i'll just say new formula select it all and i will change the color to brown because it's being picked from these colors okay then come to effect and add an outline. The outline you want to make it white, okay? And drop it down here, okay? Now I may bring this one in front, okay? Just so that we can see that it's part of it. Then the last but not the least thing we will do is, in fact, let me rotate this one small, okay? We are going to add some clouds, okay? Just add like some smoky effects, sort of okay so just search for clouds and we can see we have so many clouds in here choose any of them so you can maybe choose this one this can go behind the main mr beast logo so right click come to layer come to show layers and you should see them over here okay so you just want to bring it all the way down 
down, 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 to behind this. Okay. So this is what we have at the moment. And there you can choose another cloud. Okay. So something like this. Okay. Just make it big over here. It just blends the things. I don't know, but it does some sort of magic to it. So you see what is done over here. If you want, we can also improve this a little bit. So in, in terms of the colors, you can just, you know, maybe make it brighter a little bit and more saturated. Okay. So that it looks like this. And I hope this helps. This is what we have been able to do inside of Canva. Very easy, very simple. I hope you found it helpful. If you're looking for more Canva tutorials, like I said earlier, subscribe to this channel because there are more Canva tutorials coming your way. The name is Benjamin. Join my community. Join my... Anything you can join, just join. Okay. <laughs> and, I'll, and just remember, there is no limit to creativity. I should see you in my next video. Thank you.